glad that you joined me for another story time. My name's Kathleen and I work at the Bozeman Public Library in the children's room. And I love doing these story times with you. It's such fun. And I hope you're having a wonderful time out in that sunshine. That is kind of what got me thinking about story time. So next week on a, uh, excuse me, March 20th, that's the first day of spring. And sometimes in Montana, spring is a long way off, but it feels closer to me because it's so warm and I love being outside. So I was gonna do some books about spring today. And I might even do this next week too because I just love spring. My first book is called, And Then It's Spring. This is written by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Aaron Stead. I love these illustrations. You might recognize them from uh, the book called The Sick Day for Amos McGee. She did those illustrations too, and I just love her style. So we'll make sure we look at these beautiful illustrations. Now, before we start, let's think about what we know about spring. We know it's a season. We know it comes after what season? Winter. So we have winter, spring, summer, and fall. And we know that springtime is when the ground and the air warms up and sometimes in, in, instead of snowing, it rains. Uh, we start to hear birds that have migrated back. I know I have heard the red-winged blackbird come back and I saw robins last weekend. So that's a sign of spring. Um, I imagine before we know it, you'll see little daffodils popping their heads up and little crocuses. So watch for signs of spring, they're everywhere. All right, let's start our book and then it's spring. Of course, I have to thank our publisher, Neil Porter Books. Thanks for letting me read this with my friends. First you have brown, all around you have brown. You can tell by that picture that it's still a little cold outside. How can we tell? That's right, that boy is wearing his hat and his scarf and his mittens, and it looks like the wind is blowing. Oh, and then there are seeds. Looks like he's planting a seed. And a wish for rain. And then it rains. I can see in the little piles, he has put a little stake with a picture of what he's planted there. And on that first, I see carrots in the front by the rabbit and then sunflower seeds. And then in front of the dog, tomatoes. There's a turtle down there too. Oh, and it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. Oh, I see he's got a pea sign there that he's gonna grow some peas. That looks very wet. Oh, wait, is that a little bit of green? He's got his magnifying glass. Hmm, no, it's just brown, sort of brown. Oh, then a week has passed by. Oh, do you think the weather's changing? I see what looks like a robin maybe on that fence post. I see the boy has changed his clothes. Not so cold anymore. Oh, and you worry about those seeds. Still waiting. And if maybe it was the birds, what are those birds doing? Looks like they're eating the seeds. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe it's the birds, or maybe it was all the bears and that stomping, because bears can't read signs. They say things like, or excuse me, because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. I think he's thinking something happened to his seeds because it's just not growing. Oh, and then it's one more week. 
and the brown is still brown, but it has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. I love this picture. First, I can see all the different things that live underground. So that brown part, you can see, oh, I can, you know what else I can see? I can see the roots of his plants. Look underneath the sign. You'll see the little roots digging down. All of his plants are starting to grow. And I see little bits of green. And I also see a mouse and a chipmunk and some ants and a worm. And a, oh, I love how cool that is. <gasps> They're starting to grow. <gasps> oh, and then it's one more week. Still nothing. But it's gotten warmer. He's wearing a short sleeve shirt now. <gasps> more rain. <sighs> And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after the rainy day. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around and now you have green. All around you have green. Look at all his plants are coming up. Oh, I love that. So another sign of spring, plants starting to grow, rain and sun, the snow melting. Now I've got a classic spring story. This is called Frog and Toad All Year. And this is a book that was around when I was a kiddo and I still love it. Let's see, published in 1976, I would have been four years old. So probably just about your age when this was read to me. Now, most of you might know Frog and Toad. This one's Frog, this one's Toad. He's short and stout, and he's a little bit taller and thinner, and they're friends. This book, we have lots of these at the library because they're so popular, has little chapters. Can you see here? And it has the page number where the little chapters are. And we're gonna read the one about spring. It's called The Corner. It's on page 18. Here we go. Thanks Arnold Lobel. He did the pictures and the stories and if you like this book we have lots more of his work and it's all just fabulous. The Corner. Frog and Toad were caught in the rain. They ran to Frog's house. I'm all wet, said Toad. The day is spoiled. Have some tea and cake, said Frog. The rain will stop. If you stand near the stove, your clothes will be dry soon. And I will tell you a story while we're waiting, said Frog. Oh, good, said Toad. When I was small, not much bigger than a pollywog, said Frog, my father said to me, Son, this is a cold gray day, but spring is just around the corner. I wanted spring to come. I went out to find that corner. I walked down a path in the woods until I came to a corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was on the other side. And was it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only a pine tree, three pebbles, and some dry grass. I walked in the meadow. Soon I came to another corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was there. Did you find it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only an old worm asleep on a tree stump. Can you find the worm sleeping on the tree stump? I walked along the river until I came to another corner. I went around that corner to look for spring. Was it there? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only some wet mud and a lizard who was chasing his tail. You must have been tired, said Toad. I was tired, said Frog. And then it started to rain. I went back home and when I got there, said Frog, I found another corner. It was the corner of my house. Did you go around it? asked Toad. I went around that corner too said Frog. What did you see? asked Toad. 
I saw the sun coming out, said Frog. I saw birds sitting and singing in a tree. I saw my mother and father working in their garden. I saw flowers in the garden. You found it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. I was very happy. I had found the corner that spring was just around. Look, Frog, said Toad, you were right. The rain has stopped. Frog and Toad hurried outside. They ran around the corner of Frog's house to make sure that spring had come again. Isn't that funny? I gotta tell you, there's a saying around the corner. So when someone says spring is around the corner, it just means it's coming soon. People could say Christmas is around the corner. It means it's coming soon. It doesn't mean it's around the corner of a street or a house. So that's kind of funny, Frog and Toad. If you like this book, please call us up and ask us to um, put one in a book bundle for you. Oh, I love this next one. This next one's called Ice Cream. And I'll give you a little preview. There's Toad. He got two ice cream cones. Who do you think the other one's for? That's right, Frog. Now, as he's walking, look what happens. Oh no. Let's see if I can show you one more little preview. Oh, look at that. That's Toad under that ice cream. That's a little preview. That's available in Frog and Toad all year. I am so happy you joined us and I hope you will call us for a book bundle. And you just do that by calling 582-2404 and you tell us a little bit about what you're looking for, maybe your children's ages and interests, or you can have specific titles like Frog and Toad. And we'll pull a book bundle together for you and have it ready for you at curbside pickup. You can also call to request, <laughs> tongue tied today, request the craft that I'll show you in just a second. All right, so now for our craft. I'm back at the library, as you can see behind me. And we talked about so many different signs of spring. I wonder if you could remember some with me before I show you the craft. I remember something that chirps, right? The birds start coming back. I remember something coming out of the ground. You might see some tiny, tiny little bits of green and maybe some crocuses. I don't know, it might be a little early for that, but. I'm always surprised on the south side of my house to see things coming up. All oh, the trees will start kind of, their buds will start growing. Might start seeing some insects. I know that I saw a fly outside the other day and rain. So to help us remember our signs of spring, we're gonna make this signs of spring headband. It goes like that. And what you'll get, you can call and request this along with a book bundle and it's the signs of spring. So you're gonna color each of these and then cut them out. And then you'll get these two pieces of construction paper and you'll need some help from an adult. You have to kind of measure your head and then you're going to, once you measure it, you can tape or staple that to create this little hat. And you won't use both of those. You just need maybe one and a half depending on your head size. And you can make this and then I'd love it if you would share with somebody some of the signs of spring you could maybe share with your someone in your house or maybe you do video chats with your family you could show them your signs of spring and teach someone a little bit about that that season is starting do you remember what day we said spring starts March 20th which is next week hard to believe all right so call in and request your um, Craft. You can ask for a book bundle too and request some books you might want to read. Um, parents can tell us a little bit about their kiddos and we can just select books and we're happy to get those ready for you. And I'll see you next Friday at Storytime.